G'day again. This video is on uh, bid mass, um, otherwise known as bod mass, or um, I think I've also called, heard it called bed mass. Um, so uh, a few different interpretations. I call it bid mass. But um, all it tells you is which order um, that you're supposed to do your um, ar arithmetic in. So, uh, what to do. so firstly, we need to start with brackets. So first thing to look at in uh, when we're trying to evaluate an expression is brackets. Start with the brackets. Second thing is to do indices. And what indices? It means powers or exponents. That's where people get um, bed mass from. Um, exponents. So we're looking at powers like squared or cubed or anything like that. So those. Um, then after that we need to look at division and then multiplication and then addition and then subtracting. So there, that's the order that we do things in. And the reason that we've uh, mathematicians have said that is just that everyone agrees that that is the order that we work it out. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a couple of examples. I might just do it here, right here, so that we can um, see everything. So let's just do this. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, in fact, I might uh, put brackets around there. Let's have a look at this question. Okay, so let's have a look at this first. In this, we've got an addition here, we've got multiplication here, we've got a subtraction here, and we've got brackets here. And so what do we do first? Well, we need to take care of the brackets first. So we'll leave everything else, so 3 plus 4 times, and let's work out what's inside the brackets. 9 minus 1, we're going to change that to an 8. And then the brackets are gone. Now we need to decide what is next. We've got addition and multiplication. Well, which one comes first? Multiplication is before addition, so we take care of that multiplication. So that's 3 plus... And now let's multiply 4 times 8, that's 32. Then we've only got one operation left, it must be 35 as your answer. So that's how bid mass works, exactly like that. Okay. Uh, so let's do uh, 6 plus 12 divided by 3. Okay. Again, which one comes first, addition or division? Division comes first, so we go 6 plus... 12 divided by 3 is what we're looking at now, so that's 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. And pretty much that is business, so it's going to be a, a bit of a quick video. Um, in fact, I'll do on a, let, let's just sort of do sort of maybe a, a bigger example. Let's do 4 plus 6 plus 3 times 9 minus 11, okay? Try something like that. Okay, uh, let's have a look. What to do first? Well, we've got brackets here, so we must do the brackets first. So let's take care of what's inside the brackets. So it's going to be 4 plus something minus 11. Don't worry about that answer stuff, only worry about what's on inside. Now, inside, 6 plus 3 times 9. We need to um, do what's inside the bracket, but inside the bracket we've got a, a plus and a multiply. We need to do the multiply first, so that's 6 plus 3 times 9 is 27. So we've done that. 4 plus, now we still need to take care of the brackets, 6 plus 27 is 33 minus 11, and then all we've got now is adding and subtracting, so we just do that. 4 plus 33 is 37 minus 11, and 37 minus 11 is 26. And so we just, just with bid mass, just do one at a time, one step at a time, start with your brackets, um, etc., etc., etc. Let's do one last one. 4 plus 2 to the power 3 uh, minus 1. Um, we haven't actually done powers yet, so. Um, might be a bit silly to do, we'll just do it anyway, okay? So, brackets first, we need to do brackets. Uh, first, let's figure out what's inside this bracket is 2 to the power 3. In case you don't know, we're going to explain this later, but 2 to the power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. So we're doing that 3 times, okay? Um, so that 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so that's equal to 8. So that's equal to 4 plus 8 minus 1. 
8 minus 1 is 7, so that's 4 plus 7, so answer of 11. And that's a bit mess. Nice and simple, hope you understand.